Hey guys, if you have a 2011 to 2012 Dodge Ram, and actually many other Dodge vehicles around that same year range, that the fuel pump is staying on when you get out of the car, after you shut the key off, you get out of the car, you notice the fuel pump stays on, and it won't shut off, possibly running your battery down, um, and you've decided to put one of these uh, fuel pump bypass uh, jumpers in. Well, you know, a lot of people say that these are a temporary fix, and it, it is and it's not. And I'll explain to you why it could be. It will totally be up to you whether you determine whether it's a permanent or a temporary fix. What this thing does is it takes, well, it bypasses your fuel pump relay and it uses your rear cigarette lighter relay and there is absolutely nothing wrong with that it will carry that load no problem um, fuel pump will run no problem it'll be reliable no problem at all um, and what you do now this is a 2015 ram so before I go any farther just know that this jumper doesn't work with this particular vehicle um, this year model they have fixed that issue but I do keep one of these on hand because I uh, occasionally uh, will get someone uh, coming in that's wanting me to install one of these for them so I always keep one on hand and this is what I tell them this is what you that you need to know deter to determine if it's worth the risk to you and there is a risk it is a safety risk and I'm going to explain to you the best I can and you can determine whether it's worth it to you or not. Now these TIPMs, total integrated power modules, range anywhere from $350 for, off of eBay used to over $1,000 new. Um, Chrysler has built the fuel pump relay inside this uh, module. The contacts start sticking which is why your fuel pump stays on when you turn the key off the contacts have remained closed um, this bypasses that particular relay takes it over to the cigarette lighter relay perfectly fine here's where the problem is the fuel pump relay is powered by the ECM, the power control, the PCM rather, the power control module. The power control module is programmed to where if it does not see an engine crank signal, it kills the fuel pump. It shuts the fuel pump off. And it does that for a particular reason. And that reason is if you're in a wreck, let's say you have turned the car over, the truck over, whatever you're driving, it's flipped on its side, it's flipped over upside down, whatever you possibly are unconscious the engines died a fuel line has ruptured you don't want the fuel pump to continue to run spraying fuel everywhere and feeding a fire so the PCM is programmed to kill the fuel pump whenever the engine quits running now whenever you bypass the, that fuel pump and you take it over to the cigarette lighter the fuel pump will run as long as the key is turned on so I don't know if you have ever noticed if you turn your key to the run position you'll hear the fuel pump run come on and within two seconds it'll shut off if you turn the key off and then back to the run position the fuel pump will come on two seconds later it'll shut off it does that because it does not sense a crank signal from the engine so the PCM says okay if the engine's not running there's no reason to have a fuel pump running so it turns the fuel pump off it doesn't know if there's an open line you know it, it doesn't care it, it turns it off if the engine's running the chances of you having a ruptured line is pretty slim because you've got to have fuel pressure and, and enough volume to keep the engine running so that's where the risk is you need to know that if you're in a wreck and you're not able to turn the key off the fuel pump will continue to run 
that may not even be a big deal in itself. As long as there's no ruptured lines, it's not going to be a problem. Fuel pump will be on. Uh, it'll just be pumping, you know, fuel pressure to a closed system, and there's no, uh, you know, there's no risk at that point. But if the line's ruptured and the fuel pump does not shut off, it's just going to be spraying fuel, and that's the last thing you want uh, in a, in a, you know, automotive accident. So that's what you need to know. So it's up to you. If you put one of these in, just know it is really a permanent fix, but it is eliminating a safety feature of the vehicle. And that is the fuel pump will not shut off whenever the key is in the run position. It'll, it'll stay on. So hopefully you kind of have an understanding about what these actually do, why some people say it's a temporary fix, Everybody I know, they run them permanently. They don't have a problem with them. They're, they're willing to take the risk of, you know, whether they're in a serious enough accident to where they rupture a line, uh, you know, they're, they're willing to take that risk. So just be aware of that. Anyway, this video's been long enough. You guys take care.